Hey y'all, this is Blue Stringer 1955 and I got a new toy. One Cold Steel Gurkha Kukri. Just got delivered today. Uh, I'm going to pretend like I'm unboxing it. I'm not really unboxing it, as you can see, for the first time. But, uh, I did take it apart and open it up because it was full of cosmoline. It was covered in cosmoline or whatever kind of oil. And, uh, and it, I was going to have to go uh, clean that up anyhow. So, so there you go. I got a knife that I wanted for several years. For some reason, I, I, I never ordered one. I'll tell you the reason actually is because uh, they've been uh, they're pretty darn expensive. Uh, the cheapest I've ever seen them before was around 160 bucks and uh, normally they're around uh, probably 185 and sometimes you can't even get near them for around 200 bucks so they list for 299 I believe which I think is quite a bit overpriced but I got this one for 126 99 uh, and shipping was only 385 so I feel like I got it was it was just time to jump on it so I did now there's a couple things uh, I'm not so sure about. I'm not so sure I'm going to keep this uh, plastic. Uh, I'm not even sure what it is. If it's glass or it's not Kydex. Um, some kind of plastic uh, sheath. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. it. It it looks like it'll serve its purpose. It does have uh, it does have a velcro closure for which is good for me I have a, a belt man um, gun belt that that has uh, velcro sewn into it for my inside the waistband holster uh, my uh, crossbreed holster um, it's a reasonably well made sheath it looks like but and it feels like it has really good lockup um, just not sure it's for me but we'll see I'll try it after a while the knife is uh, you if, if you follow choppers of any kind you've probably heard of it you've probably looked at reviews you've probably considered buying one I have not used it yet obviously I just just got it up and and uh, out of the out of the box and everything five sixteenths thickness at the at the spine uh, it's a beefy beefy uh, kukri at 22 ounces without the sheath so it is a an anchor around your belt when you're carrying it the handle feels great in my hand uh, which I'm kind of surprised at I, I really expected it to feel a little bit too thin um, as a way of comparison, I, I thought it was going to be a whole lot like my Outcast. And the reason that my Outcast has this paracord wrap around it is because uh, it was too thin. And when you look at pictures of these, uh, um, they look about the same. But this is a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker. Um, and so I don't think I'm going to end up wrapping it like I did the Outcast. Um, Another point of comparison for me is my BK9, Becker BK9. Uh, as you can see, I've done a few things to this one. It's not stock by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I took the coating off. It's uh, polished to a slightly, slightly higher luster than than uh, stonewash or than uh, satin 
finish, but uh, it's not mirror polish by any stretch. The uh, lanyard is uh, from the paracordist. Kevin the paracordist. It's what he calls his PSK lanyard, and although some people would think that might stand for personal survival kit, in this case, PSK stands for names of people that helped Kevin. Kevin is the K, and P and S are two of his friends that helped him come up with the idea for this. It's a great lanyard. It doesn't have any, any way, when, you're, when you carry it around in the woods, it doesn't have any way to... Uh, um, it's not going to, it has no loops, so it's not going to get hung up in tree branches or anything. But when you go to use it, you can uh, put, a, put it in your, put your thumb through there, push that bead up, and then get it so far and then uh, tighten it as you need to with, with one hand. And you got a good lanyard. Uh, it's a great lanyard. I'm probably going to order another one for the Kukri. Um, but uh, this is what I've had, the, the BK-9 I've had for several years, probably close to 10 years now. And uh, I've used it a lot and done a lot of chopping with it, done a lot of batoning with it, and use it every winter um, a, as a main fireplace tool. I, I split my little kindling down with my BK-9 and I baton with it quite a bit. Um, I think the Kukri is probably going to come up short in that department so it's not going to replace all of my needs for, for a big knife I don't think. I think it's going to be mostly just a chopper and, and perhaps a draw knife if I'm, if I'm uh, making shelter and etc. The uh, anyway, those are the two knives. Those are the two knives that I uh, use as a as a data point for comparison for what I hope the Kukri will end up doing. Um, I hope it'll outchop both of those knives. Um, I, I have really little no no doubt that it's going to uh, outchop either one of those knives. Um, it came out of the box feeling very sharp. I don't have anything handy to to show you whether or not it's sharp, but but it sure uh, it sure feels like it is. Um, I'm going to I, I, I've worked uh, quite a bit on the BK9 um, on on its edge here recently, um, just tuning it up for winter. It's getting ready to use it a lot and. Uh, and so I'm not going to do anything to this blade before when, when I do my uh, my comparison test. I'm going to do some some chopping with both knives, probably all three, at least with the BK9 and with the with the Gurkha. And uh, and we'll see how that goes. But there you go, 126.99. Uh, I did write the person that I that I uh, bought the knife from and the the business. It's a business. It's got great feedback. Uh, got a, a hundreds of more than a hundred thousand sales in their score and I asked them if they had any uh, objection to me mentioning their business name on camera for for a, a review at YouTube and they said that they would rather I didn't so I won't um, but it's uh, if you search on Gurkha Kukri and probably do it pretty soon because I would imagine that it's uh, um, probably not their regular price because $126.99 is way cheap for, for this knife. Anyway, I'm not going to mention them, but $126.99 is what I got it for, $3.85 for shipping, so $130 to my door for a knife that normally you can't even get the base price down below about $160. Uh, it's not a bad deal at all. Get one if you can, and uh, my next video will be uh, chopping with it a little bit. We'll see what it does. Thanks a lot. Take care.